Hi, welcome to this episode of What I Call Geography. Uh, today we're going to look at development indicators and in particular we're going to look at life expectancy, the key aspects and also the limitations of this particular indicator. Uh, some of the indicators that we've looked at before in a previous episode as an overview are as shown here. We've got GNI, gross national income, birth rates, death rates, infant mortality, life expectancy, people per doctor, education rates, access to safe water, and HDI. Let's have a look particularly at life expectancy. So, it's at the point when a child is born, how long are they expected to live based upon all the information that the government has available to them at that moment to predict or estimate the life expectancy. And it's measured in years. So some of the problems with this are, it uses past information. So the government makes a estimate and says, in the past we know X, Y, and Z about the country. In the past, this influenced life expectancy because of these reasons here. So it's based on past information. And who's to say in 70, 80, 90 years time, what that information will be? Will healthcare uh, facilities increase? Will they get better? Will actually, maybe they get worse. It doesn't also tell us about some of the context of the country. So there might be some health issues that are specific to some countries. So in some countries, there might be increased HIV infections. That's going to affect life expectancy rates. And that might happen in uh, countries where healthcare isn't as good. And in some countries, there might be, in many HICs, there's an obesity problem. And that might actually affect life expectancy in a negative way. And people may be expected to live not as long with the issues around that. Maybe diabetes and cancer, uh, which are linked to obesity. Some other issues are... If the country has a high infant mortality, uh, so children who are maybe not as healthy at birth, then that means that children who do survive through that period, they might be uh, expected to live a little bit longer. So the life expectancy is then counteracted by this. Also, the infant mortality, uh, that counteracts high life expectancy, uh, so that if there's a high infant mortality, that, that might mask the fact that actually the life expectancy is quite high as well. So here's some of the key information. Life expectancy is an estimate of age that somebody is expected to um, survive to, and it's measured in years. Some of the limitations are it's based on past data, uh, and it doesn't take into account some of the health issues that might arise in the future that people are not quite sure about yet. And also the infant mortality may affect some of the averages and working out. So thank you for watching today. That was Development Indicators Life Expectancy on White Glove Geography.